Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Now, up until quite recently, I thought that the Unity Lights had no effect on 2D sprites. Indeed, if I take this simple sprite and then create a point light, you'll see that this point light is absolutely useless. Well, in this quick and easy tutorial, I will show you how to get the Unity Lights to affect your 2D characters and environments. Now note that I'll be using Adobe Photoshop, but any 2D drawing application such as GIMP will work just fine. With that said, let's begin. So I've just created this very simple looking character in Photoshop. I'll now create a second layer, right click on it and choose Create Clipping Mask. This way, we can only paint on top of our already established character. What I must now do is take a hard white brush and paint over the whole image in white. Alright, awesome. I'll now make sure that my background is transparent and export has a PNG, the simple character, without the white overlay into my Unity project. I'll call it Character. I'll then enable the white overlay and export that as a PNG into Unity. I'll call this Light Map. With the Photoshop part of the process complete, I'll drag and drop my character sprite into the scene view and create a simple point light. Of course, this light has no effect yet on our sprite. I'll now select the Light Map and change its texture type from Sprite 2D and UI to Normal Map. I'll then toggle on the Create from Grayscale checkbox and reduce bumpiness to zero. I'll leave all the other settings to default and hit Apply. Last but not least, I'll create a new Unity material and simply name it Character Matte. I'll set the shader type for this material to Legacy Shaders, Transparent, bumped diffuse. You'll see that I'm prompted to state two textures for this material. The first will be my normal character sprite and the second will be my light map. If I now select my character in the scene view and drag and drop the character mat inside the sprite render material slot, I'll be rewarded with a character that like a 3D model is affected by Unity Lights. If you don't see any effect, however, make sure that the light is in front of the sprite by going into the 3D scene mode and using your translate tool to pull the light in front. You can now play around with the different light types, their color, intensity, and range. If you've done like me, the sprite should smoothly respond to whatever setting you tweak. And that will wrap up this small, yet hopefully helpful and insightful tutorial. As usual, thanks so much for watching. If you have any video requests, of course, post away in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to be absolutely awesome by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and supporting the Blackthorn Prod channel. With that, I'll see you very soon. Cheers!